Hello everyone, this is Kristen Zeit with Healthcare Design Magazine. I am at HCD Expo. I'm here with Kristen Kale from Whitehall Manufacturing and Laura Marshall from Acorn Beck. Hi ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Kristen, if you could tell me a little bit about your two companies and how they work together. One item that we both have together is we both work in plumbing. So Whitehall Manufacturing, we are all the plumbing fixtures that are in front of the wall. So the toilets, sinks, infection sinks, etc. And then Acorn Vac is everything behind the wall. Now I imagine infection control is a really big part of what you do. Absolutely. In fact, all of our products we have to really focus on infection. But we're also trying to work with universal design products, which mean that we need to address ADA, we need to address ligature resistantness, we need to address bariatrics and infection. Laura, let's, why don't you tell me a little bit more about uh, vacuum plumbing and how that works? Is it simple to use? Vacuum plumbing isn't a new technology. Vacuum plumbing's been around for many years. Its use in healthcare is relatively new. Within the last five to ten years, there have been a number of healthcare providers that are looking to vacuum plumbing because it actually resolves a number of issues that healthcare providers have with space renovation, with infection prevention, with use of space that doesn't have a plumbing infrastructure. It uses the interface of vacuum pressure in a closed piping network against atmospheric pressure in the room to move waste from fixtures to the sanitary sewer line. Because it uses that interface, vacuum piping can be routed both vertically and horizontally. Vacuum plumbing does allow you to save space because as you're routing the piping through the facility without the need for continuous slope, the space between floors doesn't need to be as great as it would normally need to be. It allows them to renovate without disruption in other areas, other adjacent areas of the facility. It allows the revenue generating spaces of the facility to remain open while renovations are occurring. The vacuum plumbing has the added benefit of not creating a plume when a toilet is flushed. What that does is it provides a cleaner, healthier bathroom environment. One of the biggest benefits benefits for owners with vacuum plumbing systems is the reduction in waistline blockage. With the air coming through the system, things like sanitary wipes, toilet paper, paper towels don't create the same kind of waistline blockage that they do in gravity waste systems. More recently, we've seen some use of vacuum plumbing in the development of medical office suites and medical office buildings. It allows that provider to move into spaces that don't have the plumbing infrastructure and develop the space they need without interference to areas below. Are there misconceptions about vacuum plumbing? One of the primary misconceptions is that it's going to be expensive. Our studies have shown that vacuum plumbing is not, that it's very, very competitive with conventional plumbing, especially when you have a situation where you may have site issues or structural issues within the building and you're trying to do plumbing renovation. This can be a money saver. And other misconceptions are that it's going to be high maintenance or loud and noisy. We've actually been working vacuum plumbing systems for about 25 years and in the course of that time we've redesigned and redeveloped the systems to make them low maintenance, to make them user friendly and to make them quiet. Kristen, let's talk about ligature resistant products and why that's so important. 75% of all suicides unfortunately happen in bathrooms and they do happen with hangings. So what we're trying to do is make products that you cannot grab an edge on and that is anything from a shower head to a toilet to a sink to a faucet to a mirror, even a drain. When healthcare designers and providers come to you with questions, uh, looking for solutions, how do you address their, their biggest challenges? Well, generally I find that they're just coming to us for some expertise. So there's all these different regulations, federal guidelines, and trying to sort all that out, and especially in plumbing, that's where we come in and we can kind of help folks. We work with any type of bathroom situations, a lot of renovation work. So a lot of times people will have existing rough-ins and they don't know what to do with it. So that's where we can step in. Vacuum plumbing is still an emerging technology, a new technology, relatively speaking, for healthcare designers. A lot of plumbing designers may or may not have had a chance to work with it before. So we work very closely with the owner, with the designer, with the architect to help them develop a set of vacuum plumbing plans that can be used for renovation work or for new construction work 
Do you do custom work? We have a whole line of just product that is stocked, and especially for behavioral health care situations. The renovations have to be very quick, so a lot of product has to be stocked, so we do do that. But the good part is, too, we can work on custom products. So say that you have a corner sink that the dimensions of something that we have standard don't seem to fit quite right, but it still has to meet ADA, uh, we can work with you on that. For more information about any of the products we've discussed here, you can go to the websites listed on the screen.